Hello everyone, in this opportunity I want to explain you how to overhaul your toilet flushometer. The problem with the flushometer is when we flush the toilet we have a leak here in this area. You see the leak? This is because it's called gasket but the name is a slum breaker. It's broken. It's broken in some point in this area. So replacing this 100% the problem is gonna be solved. But I'm going to explain you also when the handle is loose is because there is problem there is a problem with this pen. You see the head is a plastic. When you push this this handle you push in this one to another pin and that pin release the pressure and then the, the water go down when the head is making uh, metal with metal because we have another similar here in the middle when it's metal with metal so you, you can play with the handle this case is, is good I'm gonna show you how to replace it also the other thing that I'm gonna replace is when you have a uh, pruning water always if there is something wrong with this gas so in total we're gonna overhaul the entire flashometer with less than $12 this is $4 this is another $4 this is three dollar and this is, this gas is, is two dollar so let's start it the first thing that you need to do is close the water when i remove this nut you see like i said before you see it's broken the gasket so we're gonna put a new one The next step, we're gonna replace this part. You see the position of the gasket? Try to put the new one with the same position. This is the old one, this is the new one. Now we're gonna replace the letter. This is the another pen that I'm talking. This one touch this one. Look, look the model. You see, it's going up a little bit. That space is enough to let the water go in. Put attention how it looks or take a picture how it looks and then put it back in the same in the same position we're going to remove this knot you see not first and then you see you see this part is going down remove this part let's like say you see the head going down And then, and this one gonna match with this, with the channel. Here. Let's put it back in the same position that you remove it. This one is looking the handle. You see? Don't forget to put the pen. Okay, so now everything is ready. Now we're gonna open the water. Let's watch it. Okay, that's good. But the only thing I feel like that there is too much pressure. I'm gonna show you how to put the right pressure for the flush mirror. So one of the most important thing here is that when you flush the toilet, the water don't, don't need to touch the toilet seat. If the water is touching the toilet seat, it's because there is too much pressure. For example, when I flush it, Let 
maybe you cannot appreciate, but there is a, a water, a water here. That means there is a, too much pressure. The another test that you can do is, if you feel there is water touching your hand, is because there is too much pressure. Let's see. there is a lot of water so the first step is is close the water valve it's still too much no feeling like it's too much, a little bit less. That is the right one. We are good with the pressure now. We're gonna, this with this screw, you remove this nut in the top, and then there is a screw with a flat head with this screw, you're gonna you're gonna put the timing, the, the timing or how long the water gonna run. In. For example, if we close this, the water gonna 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 be like a short time. So now we're gonna put the, the right timing. Couple. much better let's turn back a little bit let's turn back or oh, open it too much The right I think it's the right timing. I'm gonna put the knot, the knot back. And we finish. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment in my video. You have some ideas or better idea than me. Thank you so much.